On today's show, we dive into the software for the CRX. Stay tuned. Welcome to the show. My name is Richard Cleveland. I'm your host here three times a week on the first layer. Now, this is a show that explores the world of 3D printing. If you're new here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, ding that bell so you get notified every time that we do a brand new episode or we're going to do one of our famous live streams. So, Today we've got a lot to cover. We're diving into the software bundle that comes with the Creality CRX. I'm going to show you how to install it. I'm going to show you what's on the card and we're going to navigate through all that stuff. So we got a lot to cover. So let's head over to the computer and get started right away. All right. So we're over here at the computer and we have our CRX folder copied onto our computer from the SD card. We're just going to open it up, have a quick look at it. Uh, the folder structure is as follows, installing software, USB driver, troubleshooting models, CRX guide, and your test model. Now, when we are going, we, what we want to concentrate on is the software and the USB driver. So here's a problem that I found uh, while trying to do this. Now, it has 15.04.6. If we double click that and we say yes, we get an error for launching the installer. For whatever reason, it does not want to work on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm quickly going to close this. I have already downloaded Cura 15.04.6 uh, from the internet. You can go to the website for Ultimaker. They have this version available. So we're just going to double click that. We will say yes. And now you see the installer comes up and it's working fine. For whatever reason, it just doesn't want to work off that CRX um, folder structure. I don't know why. So we're just going to follow along and we will make sure that we have everything checked off. So while it's installing, um, I just want to point out that the file structure on the CRX, for whatever reason, is a little different. Now, they've only got one model in the root directory. If you want to print the other models that are in the model folder, which is spelt incorrectly, of course, um, you may want to uh, move those G code files that are in there onto the root directory. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to see them. For whatever reason, the CRX does not see folders within the uh, structure of the root directory. It's only going to see the G code files. So we're almost done installing here. There we go. We've got the welcome to the installation wizard. We're going to say, say next. Um, it's going to ask us about uh, our Arduino, which we already have installed. And now we can just go ahead and hit next here and start Cura 15. Actually, we're going to finish, but we're not going to start it. What we're going to do is we are going to uh, uncheck that. We'll hit finish. Now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and install the proper drivers for the CRX. So now what we have to do is go ahead and find the add CRX right here. All right, so let's add the CRX. All you have to do is double click. It will open up an installer. Now it is in Chinese, so I don't know why it's in Chinese, but it is. There's no way to um, see it in English. So that to me is a little bit of a drawback. They should make this available in English as well. What we're going to do is just hit this button here, which is the next button. We'll say yes. Yes to all. And now that is installed. Okay. So what we want to do is first and foremost, we're going to reboot our machine. So we'll restart it. All right, so we've rebooted the computer. We are now going to go in and find our Cura, which should be at the top of our windows. We'll just click that once and it should open up our Cura. Okay, so this is the first run wizard. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit next. Um, we do need English, so we are 
choosing English in this case. Now, here's where we run into where is our file? It should be under other. We click the other button and then we go next. And right there, the second one down, you're going to see that it is a CRX. So we'll click that because we've installed those particular uh, drivers for it. We'll hit finish. And this is what Cura will look like when you open it up. It'll give you all the improvements. So we'll say, okay, we'll just skip past that. Now Cura comes with its own first model, which is a little robot which we don't really need to use because we have some G code that we're going to load in here anyway, so we can kind of see what's going on. So we are just going to click him and we'll just say delete. And if we zoom back out, we can see that we have quite a big volume here. Uh, let's go over to the tabs over here first. You can see our layer height is set to 0.2. Our shell thickness is 1.2 and we are going to enable retraction. Now this is all preset in that profile that we chose for the CRX. So we don't have to really touch any of this. Same thing over here. We don't have to touch any of this. This should work just fine. If you want to know a little bit more about the machine settings, you just go up to the top and uh, navigate over to machine and click on it. The drop down menu will come down. You can see that we have the CRX machine loaded and if we go down two more to machine settings we can see that we've this is our machine settings for the CRX and it gives us our build volume you can see that there it says it is a heated bed we have no offsets to worry about on extruder 2 but it does know that we are using a second extruder so we'll go ahead and hit OK now we can go ahead and load a model in here if we so choose. So let's go over to load and we will navigate back to our desktop. And we'll go into the CRX software. And you can see down here they've got models plus the CRX G code. Let's just load in that G code, um, which is already sliced for us. And you can see it building there. Now we're not on a very fast computer, uh, admittedly. I'm going to explain to you what these two things are. The first that you're seeing here is the, the uh, actual model, which is a two color model. Um, we have the cross, which is one color, and then we have these uh, outer blocks, which are another color. Now this right back here, this is our purge block, and this is exactly how it was cut. We can take a look at the G-code if we want to. I don't want to get into that because it's a little bit beyond the scope of today's tutorial. Um, so now we've got that. If we wanted to load in another model, perhaps, we're going to get rid of this one. This one does not tell us how long it's going to take to print, but uh, we will delete this model. We're going to load another model from file. Let's go up into the models STL files and here you can see we have a boat a butterfly a cube a pangolin and a vase Let's go up to the boat. We'll start with the boat first We'll click OK now you can already see that they've got their G code here already done for the boat But we're going to grab both of those boat files and we are going to open those you can see it cleared the plate for us and now it's building up the boat Okay, so now we've got our model loaded. All we have to do to bring the two parts together is do dual extrusion merge. And it'll take a moment. It'll recalculate it. And you see it rebuilds our little boat, our little benchy. And now we are in the layer view. We can go back to normal view. And there is what the normal view looks like. So you can see we've got two different colors that the Benchy is going to print in. It is going to take 31 grams and 37 grams and five hours and 15 minutes to print. So we can go ahead and save that tool path off to our SD card if we so choose and then put it into our machine. 
All right, so now we're gonna set up the latest version of Ultima Kikura, which is 3.4.1. We're just gonna hit next. I agree, install it. We're gonna ask it to create a shortcut. Again, we're gonna make sure that we have everything turned on here. This is gonna come in handy later on down the line. One of the things that we wanna see is if the INI file, which was done in Cura 15, will port over to the latest version of Cura. Now, I've had success in the past doing this with Wan Hao and some of the other printers that I use. Um, so now we're going to see if the CRX will actually move over. I know the newest version of Ultimaker has the CR10, CR10X or CR10S5 and S4 in it. I believe it also has the Ender 3 or Ender 2 in it as well. So this is just going to take a moment to install. Once it's all finished installing, we're going to go ahead and see if we can slice a model the same way with dual extrusion in the latest version of Cura. We'll hit finish. Now it has our Wanhao i3 Plus. Let's see what else it's got in here. It's got our CR10 and our Wanhao D6. It did not bring over all of the uh, settings for the CRX. So we're going to have to build that. We are going to add a printer. Let's go down to other and see if it is in our list. It is not in our list so far as I can tell. It is not in the list. So we are going to have to build this separately. So we will go up to custom. And this is going to be a custom FDM printer. We're going to call this the CRX. Let's make that a nice capital X. And now we're going to go in and set our X, Y, and Zs. So this was, if I remember right, 305 by 305 by 405. Number of extruders, we have two. We do have a heated bed. We want to make sure that that is turned on. The compatibility material, we're going to have to change to 1.75. And we're going to have to do the same thing over here, 1.75. And we will click Finish. So now, for whatever reason, this didn't work. So let's go back into our preferences. We're going to go down to settings and profile and we're just going to go over to uh, manage profile we're going to go to down to printers third one down we're going to look at the crx and we are going to manage the machine let's go back to our printer ah only gave us 100 so that should be 405 that's where we went wrong and we will close again. And now we have the proper amount. We're gonna go ahead now that we've got all of our parameters set up, we're gonna go ahead and load in our boat model. Once again, we'll just uh, hold down the shift key to select both of them. And you'll see that they'll load in right there. Now you'll see that we have two distinct models, much like we had in the older version of Cura. So what we're going to do is we are going to tell the software which one is which. So we're going to go down. We're first going to select the, the boat, the biggest portion of the boat on this side. We are going to go down to per model settings because we have two models here. So in this model, we're going to leave it as normal. We're going to select. Uh, we're not going to select any of the settings because they should all be the same. And uh, now we're going to go and make sure that that's on model one and this is on model two. So we can still see that it's on model one. We want this one to be model two. And this one over here should be model one. There we are. We have it already selected. So once you have assigned the different colors to the print, and I'll go over that one more time. So here we have our first model. You want to make sure that it is on extruder one, print selected model with extruder one, and then this model 
we are going to make sure we're printing that model with extruder number two. Now you're wondering how do we get these together exactly the same way that we did in the previous. We have to select both models. We're going to right click and we are going to go down to merge models. Now the two models will merge. We'll just zoom in here a little bit so that you can see what we're doing. And you can see there's two distinct colors there. We have a darker yellow and then we have a brighter yellow indicating the two different colors that we are using. Now we simply just go ahead, save this off to our SD card. We'll go back up here to prepare and we are ready to slice. So let's hit the prepare button. We'll let it slice and it should take roughly around the same amount of time that it took the last one to slice as well. And there we are, two hours, 52 minutes to make that Benchy. All right, so that's our look at the software and how you can use the CRX with uh, the latest version of Cura as well. Now, if you're new to the show and this is your first time catching it, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button down at the bottom and then hit the little bell notification so you get notified every time that we do a brand new episode or we do our live streams, which we do every Wednesday at 1.30 in the afternoon. Make sure you come by, join us, and ask your questions. That's a great time for you to get involved with what we're doing on the show. Now, if you have any questions uh, that, about the software, you can certainly leave them in the comments down below. And I do check the comments, so uh, we will try and get you an answer as fast as possible. Now, I want to thank my wonderful staff, Jess Cornaching, the lovely Jess Cornaching, and uh, we've got Brian Baker and, of course, Frank Awesome, who come together and help us to give you a better viewing experience. Uh, now, I also want to thank Spool 3D for all of their help. They lent us the printer to show you guys uh, and how we can walk through the software. And now we're doing some prints on it. So you guys are going to get to see all that as well coming up on Monday's show. Now, remember that if you're looking for printers, filaments or parts, there's no better place to go than spool3d.ca. Print it right, print it with spool3d because they've got everything that you need. Check out their website today at spool3d.ca. Now, if you're not a Patreon and uh, you're not involved with Patreon and you'd like to become a, a part of it to help support the show, then you can do so by going to patreon.com slash the first layer. And I want to thank all of my Patreon subscribers right now. Uh, because you guys, without you guys, we wouldn't have a show. Now, if you're interested, you can also go ahead and buy me a coffee or the whole staff a coffee um, by going to buymeacoffee.com slash the first layer. And I thank you guys for all the support that you do give the show. It helps us to keep going. Now, if you are going to come back on Monday and you want to see our final thoughts on what we printed on this, make sure that you do check out Monday's show. Uh, I'm going to go and just relax this weekend. I might do some painting. Yeah, maybe I'll do some painting. So until I see you guys again on Monday, have yourselves a great weekend. Remember to love each other. And remember that the first layer is always your foundation to a great print. See you then.